guys, the Apex Legends Season 23 trailer and patch notes finally dropped, and we need to talk about them because they're pretty insane. Also, I'm a little sick right now, so I sound kind of funky, my bad. First off, it looks like they're putting all of their bets on the new OG mode. In this game mode, you'll only be able to select the original Legends that launch with the game. There will be no Evo armor and no perks. Lifeline finally got her rework that we've been waiting for, and she looks better than ever in my opinion. She'll still have her tap res in the regular BR and her shield revive in the OG mode. Doc can now follow teammates and her ultimate is called Doc Halo, which creates a shield around the team and all players that are within the circle can heal faster. We have something brand new called Rift Relics, which will contain weapons and new items called boost kits. There's also exotic hop ups, which do things like life steal, and there's also the brand new grenade launcher weapon, which will deal splash damage and it lets you like rocket jump, which is pretty cool. Support Legends received massive buffs. They can now move at full walk speed when they're healing, and small heals are now doubled. Support Legends also revive 25% faster and grant health regen whenever they revive. Anytime a Support Legend crafts banners, they also receive a mobile respawn beacon, which is just crazy, and they can also see when there's mobile respawn beacons inside of a death box. For ranked, there's new skill display that shows the division of ranks within the match as players load in. Neat. Wouldn't be a new season without another universal heirloom for people to spend money on, and that's the Raptor's Claw, which does look pretty clean, but it won't be available in the Mythic Shop until January 7th. Devotion is returning to the floor loot, and the Havoc is taking its spot in the care package, and all legends can now craft banners, which is really cool. Boosted Loader has been added to the Sentinel, and the Gun Shield Generator only has a 10 second cooldown now instead of 12 and hammer points have had their spawn rate reduced. L-Star got a pretty nice buff to its damage, and the gold mag now reduces the cooldown time more than the purple mag. Longbow had its damage increased, and the P2020 had its hip fire improved. The Rampage got a pretty nice buff with its rev state lasting longer and using less per shot. The Sentinel got a ton of love this update, and I'm all here for it. On top of the boosted loader, if your Sentinel's charged when you get the boosted reload, you'll also get another charged mag. Spitfire received a damage buff and the triple take had its choke speed and fire rate increased. Okay, let's talk about legend changes because there's some pretty crazy ones. Conduit now gets a speed boost on ally death boxes and she gets a speed boost if she's carrying an ally's banner when running towards a respawn beacon. Crypto got a little bit of a nerf. His drone now takes 10% of the ring damage and his invis received a little bit of a nerf with it making more sound and he flickers from time to time now. Gibby got a huge buff. His bubble cooldown is now only 17 seconds instead of 30, and it no longer gets destroyed by EMP or Maggie Balls. He got two new perks. One of them increases his ult radius by 20%, and the other makes him move faster when he's using shotguns. Horizon had a perk swapped out, and Mirage got a little bit of a buff when he's using his ult. Now he doesn't show health bars, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Newcastle is probably about to be the most insane support legend. His mobile shield no longer takes damage, and when he's reviving a downed player, all knockdown levels had their HP increased. There's also a new perk that makes his ult regenerate health for 15 seconds after he uses it. Revenant got a slight nerf. Instead of instantly refreshing his shield after 3 seconds, instead he'll regen up to 50 HP. Watson lost the revive perk, but instead received a perk to revive faster and grants health regen. For game modes, we'll have the OG Apex mode or Launch Royale, kind of hate the name, Straight Shot, Revival, and Trio's Revival. These are all coming throughout the season, they're not all on day one, and our map rotation is Broken Moon, Storm Point, and World's Edge. There were also various changes to entry costs for ranked, you can check that out here. And here are the bug fixes. And these are the quality of life fixes. Let me know what you guys think about these updates overall for the new season. And if you guys are excited to check out the new OG game mode.